Hi, AT from CNC at Home. One of the projects that I've done with the uh, Gen Mitsu 3018 router is I've taken this 3M reflective tape and run it through the router. One of the cool things then is you can create nice little letters like I've got here. I have some out on the mailbox and uh, so it works pretty well. I need to remake the one of the numbers as it's broken off and fallen off during the winter so I thought I would try to see how well this stuff would cut with the laser. Now it's highly reflective so I'm wondering if that's going to reflect the laser or if it's going to let it burn. Um, so I'm going to try a couple experiments. One is cutting from the top side see how well it cuts and then the other is cutting from the bottom side see how well that cuts. I'm going to start my cut test at 1000 millimeters per minute at 100% power. This is going to be from the red reflective side. Right, let's see if that went all the way through. Nope, didn't go all the way through. Let's try a second pass. Nope, still not all the way through. Nope. Alright, so three passes and it didn't get all the way through. We need to slow it down. We'll try a pass at 500. How about that? Nope, let's try a second pass. Well, it's really scorching it there. It comes off. But... No, nope, it's it's getting through. It's getting through the red part. It's just not cutting all the way through. Just didn't get through the plastic backing. Let's try another test. We'll just burn it up here. This will be 300 millimeters per minute at 100% power. We'll see if that cuts through everything. Well, that does get through the, the reflective tape. It does not get through this clear plastic backing. All right. That's much cleaner just going through the one time. It's much cleaner. You don't get that burning on there. This burn is at 250 millimeters per minute at 100% power. We'll try another burn at 200 millimeters per minute at 100% power. So, running at 200 definitely was too slow because that's scoring or burning the plastic. 
so that's a little bit too much. 250 is about the right speed on this. And it did cut through somewhat on the back. Not all the way, not all the way through, not all the way through. Well, it does turn out that the backing was cut through just enough that if you really tugged at it, it'll rip out. But it's still staying in there. I mean, you have to kind of really give it a a tug, and it's not all the way through. So let's try cutting from the back side. See if that burns any better or any worse. I'm going to use the same parameters, so this will be 250 millimeters per minute at 100% power. I did invert the image, so it will be cutting it backwards. Well, it looks like it cut through. But it's still, it's still stuck in there. It's interesting. It didn't really cut through this backing. It just went right through it because it's clear. It went right through it. It did cut, but not all the way through. So yeah, cutting from the back side does not work as well as cutting through the front side. Alright, there we have it. So now we can cut letters and numbers and whatnot, shapes, images, out of 3M reflective tape. Oops. Hi, I'm AT from CNC at Home. If you like our content, Help support our channel by clicking on subscribe and liking our videos. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun with your CNC at home projects.